The goal is not to remove stress. The goal is to optimize it. Hello, my name is Michael, and I'm here to talk to you about the topic of stress. Now, when we hear the word stress, what typically comes to mind? Something negative, right? But what about to tell you that stress is actually something that we need within our lives, something that helps us to thrive and to grow? In order for me to justify that bold statement, we first will need to understand what stress actually is. Stress is a response within our body, a biological response, that changes our physiology. No matter whether it's mental, emotional, physical, nutritional, whatever stress we're experiencing, it all culminates in the body as physiological stress. Let's go into the different types of stress we experience and their causes. Mental stress. Now this is probably one of the most common forms of stress that we experience. Things like memory loss or memory problems, a sense of feeling anxious, a sense of losing concentration. Let's go to emotional stress. This is a tough one to diagnose. So when a body is experiencing stress emotionally, it tends to prepare its fight or flight response, which can manifest in very sneaky ways. Signs that include increased agitation and moodiness. Let's go into physical stress. This is most often the obvious form of stress. It might present itself in things like headaches or other aches or pains within the body or an increased heart rate. Nutritional stress. This form of stress is caused by what we consume. For example, the effect that sugar has on our system and how it affects our blood sugar levels. Environmental stress. This stress is caused by environmental factors, i.e. the air we breathe in. See, these factors affect our system and our stress levels in so many different ways. No matter the stress that we experience, the biological response is the same. Eye pupils dilate, heart rate increases, adrenaline is released, decreasing the digestive system. A part of our brain called the hypothalamus is activated. Our general biological response is as follows. Number one, one of our senses perceives stress externally or our body perceives the stress internally. Number two, our biological stress response is activated, kickstarting the cascade of physiological responses. Number three, we enter into the stress response where our body and our brain is ready to fight, flight, or freeze. All of this happens in about 0.5 seconds. Now what normally is supposed to happen after we evade the stressful situation is our body goes into homeostasis. And this is what happens in the animal kingdom. The stress response is triggered by an external response, which is being attacked by another animal, or internal response, ingesting something toxic. And after that, the animal either evades the stress or is consumed by it. But within us human beings, we can also create the stress response from thought alone. What that means is the accumulation of all of the external and internal stresses we are subject to, and our ability to trigger the stress response from thought ruminations of things of the past or the future means that our body is susceptible to overloading biological stress. This results in the body's inability to recover from the biological stress we experience on a 24-hour basis effectively. So before we go into how we can manage stress better, I first of all want to just debunk some of the myths around stress. Stress is not a bad thing. It's something that we need each and every day within our environment. The problem is, is the amount of stress we're experiencing and our inability to recover or replenish effectively over a 24 hour period. If you think of it like this, imagine you are a phone battery and every stressful experience you have drains your battery. The goal for you at the end of each day is to replenish back up to 100%. Now the more stresses we experience and our inability to switch off and disconnect from stress means that we're not able to recharge back up to the level that we need to, to complete the same task tomorrow. This over a long period of time creates a sense of overload, burnout. The goal is not to remove stress. The goal is to optimize it. Now, what optimization actually means is be able to feel stress when we need to and be able to replenish and recover when we need to. So that brings about a sense of strength. For example, when we go to the gym, we exercise our lungs, our heart, our muscles, and then we rest after that point onwards, which therefore makes us feel stronger. Same thing with stress. The goal is to optimize and to strengthen our response to stress so that we can bounce back from it a lot better. Stress is not a bad thing. It's not something we should run away from, not something we should evade. It's something we should embrace in the right way. If we're able to rebalance and restructure our body and mind to handle stress better, then we could experience the stress we're experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis, but we can also replenish, recover, and be the best version of ourselves possible.